How is it going everyone, Daxels here, and today we're going to be reacting to another Dug Dug video, reacting to the Skyrim speedrun to murder all the y'alls. I, I, I'm actually looking forward to this, I've missed Skyrim, I'm actually going to play Skyrim after this I think, I'm, I'm, yeah, 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 let's do this, let's do this. And away we I'm go. I'm announced that the Dug Dug plushie is back in stock and this time... He's pink. That's right. This new Dug Dug plush sports a new color. He's now looking like a tooth. instead of slightly to the right. And best of all, <laughs> he glows in the dark. You just leave him in a light for a little bit. A glow in a dark pepper tooth. Like a spicy hot pepper. Pong. And if you all of the light bulbs in your house with plushies, you could save billions of dollars in electricity bills. But these peppers will only be on sale for three weeks, and then they are gone I forever. See. At which point, we will take all of the extras to a desert and destroy them with a bomb to ensure this technology doesn't fall into the hands of our enemies, the carrots. So head over to makeshift. Oh my god, to makeshift.com and you'll see him there or click the link in the I description want one. below. He is $25 plus shipping and I think he's delicious. Anyway, do you ship to the UK? Thank you so much for the support and for stuffing my pepper. I really really do appreciate it. All right, on to the video. Hey, this stuffing is your pepper. Where we solve common nice. everyday problems. Now, today we're going to learn how nice. to murder people really fast. Oh, I've always wanted to know that. Kill every leader in Skyrim as fast mm -hmm. as possible. There are nine different cities in the game. Each one has their own Jarl as a leader, and we're going to make a brand yes. new file and kill them all as fast as possible. Now, the timer for a Skyrim speedrun right, starts once you get control of your character. So the time will begin now. And the now. first order of business is to escape Helgen, which you can do very quickly by jumping out onto the walls where you're not supposed to go. And then you get your huh? hands unbound by Hadbar and then use an earlier save to do a load warp glitch, which basically lets your character warp from Hadbar's room out into the open world cave while still having your unbound hands. Whoa, so he's got all the attackers. With my hands unbound, bam. So we are completely wow. done with the introduction. Wow. Next, we In just two have to minutes. get to a city. You could just run to one, obviously, but there's an extremely fast glitch called Horse Tilt that lets you build up basically infinite move speed. So this is where I'll like oh. flying around the map. It probably isn't faster. Everybody's saying, no, come on. It's going to be awesome. The goal is going to be to fly from our current location down here on the map around the mountain and to White Run City. This will be fine. Okay. I bet I won't fuck it up badly. To set this up, you do a save on the mountain. Then you come down, steal a horse. You put him at a weird angle on this rock. You dismount to build up to an infinite amount of speed and then load your main save file. Look, just because I'm terrible at everything about this doesn't mean I shouldn't do it. It's badass. <laughs> cool. Now I come off of this. I fling into the sunset. I go back to my quick save and now I'll shoot off into the distance beautifully and land. Oh, God damn it. I forgot to. I have to be in third person. This is going to save time. Any second. Oh. <laughs> I have some goddamn faith. As long as I land in the water. Gotta have fine. faith on that. glitchless. Oh, bad decision. Yeah. Oh my god! So wow, I've never seen this. What? Somewhere. Okay, so we're a little bit high. Maybe we just go to solitude. Bit far. If you happen to overshoot <laughs> White Run by literally the entire map, just pivot in midair to a new city. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, we're Is at solitude. Is that full damage? Work. Oh, he's going to the water. He might. Okay. Oh. All wow. Right, so I take the carriage here. Easy. All right. You this is amazing. City in just six minutes. And now we start phase Damn. two. Every city can be reached with a carriage. So we're going to pay for a carriage ride to all nine oh. cities and discover them so that you can fast travel there later on. You have to oh. do this first Damn. because the carriage drivers will not give you a ride once you start murdering people. The only issue with oh. that is you have no money to pay for carriages because you've only been in Skyrim for six minutes. So first, you got to find a shopkeeper in solitude and use the vendor glitch to let you sell his products back to him and steal all his money <laughs> oh i don't have anything to sell i thought i picked oh, up a no. bucket okay i need to find something to sell that he would want first tomatoes okay what you got for sale we go here i drag this over and press e now i can sell him his own shit but it's taking a really long time is this gonna be enough money does anybody know you need like 500 oh Who my god that i have okay you i need money what do you mean shh <laughs> Shut the fuck up. We're fine. I feel like I'm fine. What about you? Two. What have you got for sale? Okay, she wants to buy my potatoes. Now I can sell. Okay, cool. I take all her money. Oh all right. my god. Using tomatoes. Now I go to the carriage. Nice. And we start hitting all of the different My man. The <laughs> then we scoot up to White Run. We kill the R real fast. We'll be fine. Run back out of solitude and buy a carriage ride to all of the cities. And you just have to take a few steps to discover that city. And then you can warp back to the carriage and do it again. I've discovered Dawnstar. Now I go back to the carriage. Falkreath. Falkreath is discovered. This is He's really Next good at I this. Go to White Run. Holy. Okay, now I just have to not fuck it up. Now we are finally at phase three. 
murder. We're gonna start off with White Run, and a quick way to get to the Jarl's house is to attack a guard outside. He arrests you, you go to jail, you sleep it off, and then you'll be released right outside your victim's house. And now we're at Dragon's Reach. Now, for the murder <laughs> itself, I recommend Flames, Jesus. because then you can keep your distance from the Jarl and his guards while attacking. Okay. Oh god. Oh god. Uh oh. Keep it up, dog. You got this. Got him. Got him. Got him. Oh, done it. No. So nice. So clean, I was about to say no way. Minutes, let's go. That was quick. He's made a paper. Out of the throne room, it's actually not very dangerous. You just have to escape the guards, so use the infinite sprint glitch to keep your speed up. So I just have to get away from them, and then I can fast travel to the next one. All right, that should be oh, far okay. enough. Now Morthal. Where the hell is Mor Morthal? The one next down. Let's go. Are in smaller cities like Morthal, and they don't actually have a lot of guards. Mm. And they burn easy. Nice. These are the easy ones, though. These are the easy ones. So next up is... Oh, Valkyrie. oh. Wait, where's the Jarl? <laughs> I don't know where the Jarl is. I assume it's this, because it's a big... Where's the door? Where's the door? This has got to be it, right? It's huge. Yep. Time. Oh. Dawn starts out next. Where's the Jarl? Are you the Jarl? Yep. Oh. Why is he... Ta he's taking so much longer to die. Okay, we're good. Winterhold. Where the fuck is he? Here. This music's bug. I trust you're not planning any trouble. What can I do for you, friend? <laughs> Speed is key. Nice. The small cities are all done. Next are the four major cities. This is where things could get uh, a little bit more tricky. A little more dicey. Few more people here. And she has a lot more health. Oh. Okay. Dead. Nice. Nice. Ooh, not too bad. Rift In and out. A lot of guards, though. Ah! Oh, yeah. Yo. Oh, my God. I, do I have healing? I should be using healing. Okay, now we just run off into the sunset. Three more. Next up is Mark, <laughs> where the Jarl lives in a huge dwarven ruin. This one could be really hard to get out of. Who the, who, where is he? Yo, they went walkabout. Where's the Jarl? Where's the Jarl? I don't know where the Jarl is. Where's the Jarl in this? I assumed he would be in his little throne room. His bed is the left side. Left side. Other left. What do you mean? Just wait? Will he come back? Other left. Or oh, right? <laughs> come on, you motherfucker. Locked door? Oh, uh, no. Oh, Nothing's happening. There it is. I can't do anything. I can't press escape. I can't No. I can't anything. This is going no. right now. Manually close the game because it's soft locked and start complaining that it's rigged and reload at the beginning <laughs> of the ruins. Remember, Ulfric will be really fast. The last one will be fast. There he is, there he is, there he is. All right, go, all right, go, all right. go. Back in it. Oh, this one's going to be tough. All right, he's dead, right? God, oh. Is he dead? I can't see. How yes, can you dead, see? I saw his body. All right, I have infinite okay. sprinklish. But I had to jump around. Holy shit, there's a lot of guards. Oh, my God. Okay. What happens if he dies? Does the run continue? It's going to be real fucking close. Next up is Solitude, the capital city. And it's worth mentioning that the world record for beating all of Skyrim is just under 30 minutes. So if this oh. goes well, you could murder every oh. Jarl before the world record holder beats the entire game. Oh, this is going to be so, so, wow. so fucking close. Oh my god, there's a lot of people. She has a lot of health. She's dead. Nice. Holy oh, shit. nice there, jump. Is there any way for me to get out of solitude faster? Is there any way I can speed this up? Maybe I can go here still? Where's the guard? There's a guard. And now? Oh, wow. Thirty minutes and thirty-four seconds. Thirty-four, dude. Oh, come on. If it didn't soft lock, it might have. That was. Won. Come on, dude. That oh, true. Was pretty fast, but that it was fast. Quite beat the Skyrim world record. So we tried Eleven some minutes? new strats Wait. for run number two. Wait. After you escape Helgen and fling yourself across the map, there's actually a hidden chest in the dirt outside of Solitude. This chest is used to store all of the Khajiit caravan's gold and items, but you can just access it through the floor. What? So just grab all the cat people money instead of robbing the old lady in Solitude. Then you can take the carriages all over town and head to Whiterun to start the killing. Wait, I'm missing. Oh my god, no! Did I fuck it up? I killed the wrong guy! Is he... <laughs> Where's the Jarl? He's dead, he's dead, he's dead. Jesus Christ. We also found some fast-
faster exits in the other <laughs> cities. Riften, for example, has a back door exit that's right next to the throne oh, room. Oh, wow. Markarth, I didn't know that. Not soft locking the game. All right, let's kill this guy <laughs> and get out of here. He's doing oh it in different order this time as well. Oh, I uh, didn't think he would pull that off in time. Oh, damn. We'll be fine. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna he's dead. I'm going to attack him from the table. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Why did I do this the first time? How did I kill him fast enough? Who said it was a good idea to do this one second to last? Fuck. All right, I have to dodge his shout. I have to dodge it. Nice. He's dead? Okay, he's dead. After Ulfric was killed, we tried a new strategy where the game glitches and permanently prevents you from fast travel no matter how far away you run. And so I tried another new strategy of resetting the game to fix it, and that actually worked. So then we finished out the run <laughs> in solitude. And finally, LSF, once you're oh. dead, time. 23 minutes? No way. No way. 2310. How much time did I lose nice. on this stupid bug? That run was way faster. It saved over seven minutes, which means we've beaten the Skyrim world record, but only if you count the loading screens. Technically, most runs are counted without <laughs> load time, and so the real world record is 22 minutes and 58 seconds. If we can shave off ah. another 33 seconds from our time, we can beat the world record. So... We went back to the drawing board. Up until this point, I had been killing each Jarl, then running out of the city until the guards mm -hmm. would stop chasing me. But someone in yeah. chat suggested that I could just immediately get arrested after murdering the Jarl. I would go to jail, and then I could fast travel away, which would save the time of running away from the guards. We weren't positive this would actually work, mm. because the guards might just fight me to the death if I literally just killed their leader in front of them. Especially because yeah. you're not even supposed to be able to kill the Jarls. I had to change a setting in the Skyrim files, but it was worth a shot. Oh, Plus, wow. this would mean that we don't okay. have to do all the carriage rides up front because the drivers will forgive you after you go to jail so we rearranged the city uh, order based on proximity and moved Markarth to last place because you'll get permanently stuck in a quest line if you get arrested <laughs> there and with this bold new plan in okay. place we started run number three just like before you jump on the walls you do the load warp you get out of helgen and then you set up your horse tilt go sonic go <laughs> flying sonic or Superman. Oh my god. Let's fucking go. Oh, that, that was, was a close good. one. I was a little fucking close to that dock. All right. So at this point, it's new strats the whole way down. Now steal the money from the chest in the floor and head towards mm -hmm. the first Jarl in solitude. Also, we have to hope that they don't kill me if I kill the Jarl. I didn't actually test that. Yeah, we'll be fine. All right. So let's say I murder the queen of Skyrim. Are you guys cool now? <laughs> No, no, no. Nope. Why not? Why not? Why not? Why not? Reloading. All right, we cool dead. now. What? They, no. they kill me. All right, we're running. Who said that you could just go to jail? <laughs> All right, so they're not cool if you murder the queen, and you do have to run away. This is really bad, because the entire new strategy depends on getting arrested after each murder. It's because he was on fire. Got it. No, they're it didn't not work, doing no. It. Yeah. Nobody was on fire. Only she was on fire. It does not work. All right. Yeah, I think I you got escape you first, then you get arrested work. next time, right? You are. <laughs> All right. So what if I run for like a few seconds? Yeah. And now. <gasps> True. So the guards will arrest you as long yeah. as you wait a few seconds after yeah. the murder. Then they're totally fine with it for some reason, which means the jail <laughs> strat will still work from here on out. Next up is Ulfric. Okay. If I can kill him quick, that'd be good. Oh, don't get, don't Dogs get pushed. Out. Nice. Okay. Getting arrested wow. here sends you to jail, you sleep it off and travel to the next city. The pace here is insane. I'm not quick saving or anything. I'm playing a little loose. Order of the arc. Okay, Stop right. Order of the arc. Two more. It's gotta be 22, right? He's on 17. And now there's only one Jarl left. Dude, this is happening. This is happening. Can you do it? Last Can you do it? Arc, it quick, quick, quick. Do something stupid. But if it doesn't crash, and the dude is actually in the right spot this time, that's an easy sub 20. Use the armor. There's no time. I have to beat the world record. Go, okay, go, go, there. go. <gasps> Wait until he's there. 
Oh don't god! Come on! Yes! Now go 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 go! And time! Nineteen minutes twenty-one. Nice. And so, in just over 19 minutes, you can start a new game, glitch the intro, fly off a horse, rob some cats, and murder every member of the Skyrim aristocracy. That Carnage. is how Skyrim is meant to be played. I have to pay um. four gold. <laughs> <laughs> I started with 750 gold, and after paying all of the bounties, I now have 350 left. So, it takes about 400 gold to murder every leader in Skyrim. And that's how you wow. do the speedrun. I hope you learned a lot wow. about murder today. Be sure to subscribe if you did. And you can try this speedrun too if you change the settings. Because if enough people try it, maybe it'll turn into a real speedrun category. Because it's actually really, <laughs> really fun. And with that yeah. said, it I looks think fun. my work here in Skyrim is done. Come on, Pinkie Pie. Let's go home. What the hell is a Pinkie Pie? What the, what the hell is that? Good video though. That was unbelievable. Good video. Good video. I enjoyed it very much. But it's very crazy. Very crazy stuff. Okay, everyone, that's the end of the video. If you enjoyed that video, make sure you check out the original description down below. If you enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up. Comment if you like interacting to next. Subscribe if you're new or just haven't yet. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. We are 500 subscribers away from 15k. Let's get there before the end of the year. I will see you in the next video. Laters.